Hello everybody, it's Huji. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Guys, I thank you for all the support so far. This is kind of an impromptu video. I want to start yet another series on top of Sky Factory 2.5, but now I want to start some hermit craft. This is a mod pack on Minecraft version 1.10. This is hermit craft version 1.3.0. It's updated to its most recent state. Now everybody, I am playing on a server at GrumpyCraft.com. If you want to go visit, that is fine. It's www.GrumpyCraft.com. I'll leave that link in the description, and you guys can play along if you want to. All of these servers that they have are listed on their page, so go check it out if you want to. Uh, if not, that's fine. Continue watching me, and you can live through me in Hermitcraft. So as I said, this is kind of just a uh, makeup video, you know, I just wanted to get something out there just to try new things. This is something that I've never done. I've never actually played on 1.10 other than some, you know, mini games or whatnot. So this may take some getting used to on any of the new things or anything that we have to do differently. Now there's some rules here. I'm pretty familiar with Grumpy Crap rules. If you join on here, that's fine. Go ahead, read that board. Uh, you know, it has grief prevention, so you have to stake out a claim with a shovel. Now, everybody, look, take a look at this spawn. Is this thing not a thing of beauty? This is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. <laughs> now, I have been scouring the map. I have taken a lot of time looking for places. Now, I think that I found exactly where I want to build my home. I've already kind of staked it out with some, you know, with some torches and, and gotten a, a start, so to say. But I want to show you guys the prospective places that I thought about building. And you know what? If any of you think that I should build my base in a different place than what I've picked, leave a comment in the section below and tell me which one I should choose. If there's enough feedback on a different base, you know, a different place that I should build my base, maybe, you know, I will switch to that one and we'll, we'll build along and you guys can follow me. So first off, the first place that I thought about, we're just going to go to home. We could set multiple homes on this server because uh, I have a, a rank. You don't have to buy a rank, but I'm just saying I have multiple homes. I think starters do too, but I'm going to go to home home. Everybody, I just turned on fly so I could show you these bases, but this is the first one that I thought about. It's got some very cool, um, in, you know, I guess some carve outs in these hills. And also, if you saw below, there was a cave that I could start off in. Now, that's always great when your cave is nearby. You know, that just provides a great start. And also, there is a village next door. So this is a very good prospective place to build. But this is number one. Here we are at the second place. Now, again, it has plenty of caves to go searching in. It has water. And if you take a step back from this, man, I tell you what, look at that. It's surrounded by hills and has a little raised platform. This would be kind of a crazy cool place. You know, although it's kind of barren and plain, I think it'd be a crazy nice place to set back a home in and maybe expand to fill that whole area. But that is number two. The one that I think I like the most, I've, I've already kind of scoped it out and got some, some crops planted just because I've, I've started. I didn't want to bore you guys with the, uh, you know, with the easy stuff, the punching trees, the getting the uh, crafting table and all your beginning stuff. But look at this. This is a big hill, big mountain, so have you. It's got a cave down in the bottom. Now, this cave goes all the way through. We can make some sort of cool, I don't know, some cool mining area. And it goes out on this side. And it goes all, this hole goes all the way through. If you actually go in here... It's kind of got this rectangular shape, which I thought if we just carve all this out, get some stones, some dirt, resources that we need at the beginning, carve this out into a rectangle, and we could build a kind of a cool, either futuristic or just a, a natural looking base in this. So this is what I'm going to start off in. But if you guys decide that any of the other ones are going to be better, like I said, just leave some feedback and let me know. I'm, I'm in the early stages of this series, and I plan to do more if it goes well. So just let me know, and we might switch it up. One, two, or three. Just, just let me know. Okay, guys, on another note, if you like these shaders, if you like this texture pack, what I have put together is Silder's Shaders. 
Hi, I have a pretty good amount of RAM allocated to Minecraft, so it runs pretty smoothly. I don't really stutter too much. You might notice a little bit of lag here and there, but my frame rates stay pretty high. And the Faithful Pack, I really love because it stays true to Minecraft. I use it in my uh, Sky Factor 2.5 series. So if you like those, I can leave a link in the description down below for those as well. But if you just search them on Google, it comes up just fine. Now, getting it, getting it into Minecraft, again, you might have to look up a tutorial, which if you need, let me know. I can do one. Uh, if not, I could point you in the right direction. But look at that. I mean, that looks pretty cool for being in Minecraft. Now, I will say, I don't know which direction that I want to go in on this mod pack. It's something new to me. Like I said, I've never played Hermitcraft. I heard, you know, I looked at it. There's some cool mods, you know, like I've never played with Mechanism. I've never done the Hermitcraft stuff. So I'm going to try and go down some different routes in this. But, you know, first off, I do want to get this base built. I'm not going to bore you with all this stuff. So I will off camera clear this out and hopefully we can start laying base, laying a foundation for a home. But within the first couple of videos, what I want to do is at least get power for sure. And then I want to start setting up machines for uh, ore doubling and all that stuff. Anyways, guys, I know this has been a short video. Again, like I said, it was impromptu. This is something that I wanted to start. I saw, you know, I was talking to some of the friends that I have at grubbycraft.com. And, you know, they, they started talking about doing 1.10 servers, and I saw that Hermitcraft was out. I knew that I hadn't done it before, so, I'm, you know, it really caught my eye. I wanted to get on here, get started on it. Um, you know, we're going to start building a base in the next episode. Like I said, we're going to get, you know, power, this and that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you do, hit subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below again. I will switch my base over if you guys say, hey, man, number two was way better on the base selection. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys come along with me on this journey. But for now, guys, we are done. Bye-bye.